All right, thanks for watching. And since this was so much fun, let's evaluate the following series where here we have a square in our ln of ln of n. And again, first method, let's do the integral test. So let's calculate the integral from three to infinity of one over x, ln of x, ln of ln of x, squared, so let's just use the u sub, u is ln of ln of x, so du is 1 over uh, ln of x times 1 over x, dx, so using the Chen loop, and therefore this goes precisely here, so I forgot that dx, how embarrassing, um, so this becomes du, and then what we're left with is the integral of ln of ln of 3, to infinity of 1 over u squared du, but this time, in this case, the integral actually converges. So this converges, again, if you'd like, because an antiderivative, it's minus 1 over u from ln of ln of 3 to infinity, which just becomes 1 over ln of ln of 3. This converges, therefore the original series converges, but again, just for fun, let's do it with the, um, the block test. So now let's calculate the sum from, let's say k equals 2 to infinity of 2 to the k over 2 to the k, ln of 2 to the k, and the reason I'm doing this is for the block test, you get something slightly different. So ln of ln of 2 to the k squared. And we get that this is the sum from k equals 2 to infinity of 1 over k, ln of 2. And then we get ln of uh, k, ln of 2. Before, we had that the series is uh, greater than the divergence series, but this time what we want, we want the series to be less than a convergence series, but notice in this case, k ln of 2, that's greater or equal to k. Because ln of 2 is positive, and therefore, we have the opposite. We have this is less than or equal to the sum from k equals 2 to infinity of 1 over k, ln of 2, and then ln of k squared. But the thing is the ln of 2 we can just pull outside, 1 over ln of 2, and then sum from k equals 2 to infinity of 1 over k, ln of k squared. However, from a previous video, we have shown that the sum over k, ln of k, to the p converges if and only if p is greater than 1. Because we converted it into a p series, but now 2 is greater than 1, so this converges. This converges, therefore our original series converges as well. Alright, thank you very much.